All right, Gemini, in the recent past, we have the magician here, the magician here, this beautiful horse uh, in your recent past, the ability to manifest anything you want, anything that you're good at. Everything seemed to have worked out or work uh, with easy flow. Uh, you just think about it and it can manifest. Um, this could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be a project. It could be artwork. It could be anything. But it's something that you're being able to really uh, bring forward. And it feels almost like magic because it comes so easy. And it says this, this, is a, this is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. So this is in the recent past energy. Some of you guys may have really been able, really take, took advantage of that and been able to do it. Or it could be happening in the current month of April. Current energy is the six of water. This is a rescue cat, it says. A mixed breed. So cute. Okay. The challenge, challenging times are coming in, coming to an end, you guys. The ch they're coming to an end. And you now can breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. Wow. Two positive cards here. Queen of Spring. And we sure are in spring right now here in California. It's April. Well, it's April, it's spring. Uh, this card is about being independent, charming, brilliant, talented. Success. Uh, don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several pri uh, pri priorities for um, several priorities needing, wanting for your attention at once. But do, uh, but you can do it. You can definitely do it, you guys. Wow. So not only were you maybe already feeling this energy in March, it's going to snowball almost, uh, continue through all of this April. Uh, the challenging times are over, it's saying. Everything is going to be smooth. Everything is going to be successful. Every door is going to open. Okay, Gemini? Wow. Okay, this is a really good reading. All right, so our Osho's in. First card we have is Beyond Illusion. And this is something that you guys might be thinking about this month or, or this, there's some kind of energy here about um, your mind, your mind, your third eye, your intuition, your clear understanding within your body, mind, body, and soul, your mind. It's, having, it's, it's being able to have a clear understanding of where you're going, what you want, what you should be doing, getting answers from within. And there seems to be a possible challenge with that this month as far as maybe not being able to reach it yet or trying to reach it or trying to get answers for something. Okay, so some of you guys might be wanting a lot more clarity within your within your um, future uh, or the plans in which you're going to be doing, because it does say here that there could be several opportunities that need your attention all at one time. So you guys might be like, oh my gosh, I need to know which one's more, which ones should I take as maybe priority or which one should I do? You know, maybe you want to do them both. Um, or maybe, you know, you just, regardless of, you're going to be able to do it. It's what it's saying. So definitely tap into your intuition and try to get that, that clear uh, vision so you can be calm and collective and be able to tackle things. The next card we have is success. Here, here you go, guys success. Sorry, but it's here. I mean, not sorry, but every card here is about success. You're going to, there's nothing you can't do this month. Gemini. I want to be Gemini. I have zero Gemini in my chart. So congratulations. You got success, success on top of three success cards. And this is in the position Gemini of what you will be doing. Your actions, any actions you take this month, success. Uh, anything coming your way, um, that you're going to be doing in the future success. All right. Success, success, success. Oh my gosh. The next card we have is fl flowering. You're going to be feeling this way, Gemini. You're going to be feeling like you are a flower that is blossoming, blossoming, and you're going to be feeling beautiful. You're going to be feeling like this glow is around you and that everybody's going to be attracted to it. You're going to be feeling beautiful. You're going to be feeling enlightened, um, at, at peace. And just amazing, because wh why not? You guys have all this amazing, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, could your, could your reading get any better? You have the abundance card. 
what more can you guys want? Oh my God. I really need to know what's going on with you guys. I'm congratulations, by the way, this is uh, well-deserved. Um, this is just an amazing energy. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't uh, know too much about the astrology and where it's being placed. I do know that there in this month of April, there is some kind of Aries moon situation going on. It could be on the 19th of April and don't quote me on that. Just, I, I again, I don't really, um, I, I don't really uh, know too much about astrology as far as the exact information. So yeah, Google that. Um, there, I think there. The, so in the Aries, Aries energy is all about success, forward movement, being a leader, being successful, being being able to manifest anything. And my God, you guys have all this potential here, and 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 not only potential, but it's going to happen. So, okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords. Wow, fantastic success right here. Five of Swords is definitely not a card that you would think of as an, a success card because it is definitely um, some kind of uh, disagreement with others, one person or several people, causing people in the situation to feel less than or not heard or, you know, like as if they want their stubbornness too. you know, it's all about stubbornness. Like somebody wants to win or they want to be heard louder than the other. Regardless, there's some kind of um, disagreements here that have separated the, the um, separated. Somebody could have spoke up, spoke their mind. For instance, it could have been you, Gemini. You're speaking your mind. You're, you, you know, you're feeling this beautiful, you know what you want. You're speaking your mind. Maybe people don't like what it is that you have to say, Gemini. And therefore, they're like, they're being stubborn and, and mean and selfish and they're leaving the situation. So regardless, success. If this happens, if there's a disagreement and people go their separate ways, it doesn't matter. It's, it's for your betterment. It's for success. You will have success because you do. Maybe you just need to cut these people out. If they're not going to um, be willing to listen or be willing to compromise or be willing to be part of something, then you don't need them in your life, right? All right, the next card we have is the Three of Cups. In your recent past, we have the Three of Cups. So in the recent past, you guys could have uh, recently um, had, a, had a class, high school class reunion, ran into somebody from your past that you haven't seen maybe in five, ten years or longer, a good friend of yours or friends. It could be more than one person. There's, a, there, there's some kind of celebration here in regarding to uh, getting along, getting with friends, getting together with friends, these are people that you really like and that they like you and you have like a really good um, connection with these people and they really know you because um, they've known you for a long time. So there's some kind of uh, celebration in your recent past or it could be happening right now in this month of April. We have the judgment card in reverse. There is some something here in regards to judging people. Maybe people are judging each other in a very um, negative way. This also could be somebody not getting their way, somebody not getting, um, somebody could have made a mistake, made a bad, poor judgment, um, did something that they regret and maybe they want forgiveness or they want a second chance. Um, but somebody may not want to give a second chance. There may not be, uh, the ability or the, the, uh, there may be something here about not being able to get a second chance or not being able to give somebody a second chance. And Hey, again, if that's fine, if it's, if there's arguments, you know, with these with other people, uh, 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 maybe it's too late. Maybe there's no um, reason to give somebody a second chance, right? So we can get some clarifying cards later. We have the um, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is in the position, pretty much, of what it is that you're really wanting, but you don't have it right now. And this is all about the spider in the web trying to catch their prey. So they're working all day, building and building and building and building this web, right? They spend all day building webs and there's no insects are coming for whatever reason. So there's, there's a lot of work that's being done on yourself or on a situation, on a project, at work. And it's uh, not working out. You're not getting a payout. You're not getting the rewards. This could be um, doing something in your life that uh, working on something and 
And even though you're good at it, even though you're very good at it, it may turn out, you guys, that it's not your calling in life. And so something might be trying to tell you something. They might be trying to tell you, maybe it's time for a change. Maybe it's time to pay attention to the judgment card in, in, in upright, to a new calling, a new beginning, a new way of thinking, a new way of working, a new way of a new group of people to work with, a new something here. There's something here that may be leading you or needing to lead you into a new job, a new uh, that one that's not full of arguments, one that's not where they're judging you or, you know, they're not treating you fair. All your cards say success, Gemini. So if that's the case, uh, you may want to consider uh, trying to use your third eye uh, to, to, to get the clarity you need in order to move forward on a new path for a new job. But regardless, you're going to get it. It's all it, it, it's all about abundance for you. We have the four of pentacles. This could be a challenge this month. It could be something that's, uh, you know, um, difficult. It's the four of uh, pentacles. And some of you guys might be uh, challenged this month in saving, saving some money, holding on to the money that you are making or holding on to what little that it is that you have, if you have little money or because you're some, if it's about money, you're not making it. You're putting all the work into it. You're really good at it. It's just not coming towards you. So there may be a very high need right now to hold on to that money that you have left, hold on to any money that you have. Um, it also could be uh, somehow an investment that's not paying off that you've been working on or, or dealing with. There's something here about money and needing to hold on to it. Uh, we have the um, daughter of cups and this person is coming in to you, coming in for you. It's a, it's a most likely a water sign, cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. This is a, um, this is the page of cups in the reverse. So it's, it, it, you know, this is, could be a younger person in your life, a water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign, but it could be. And this person is in need of friendship. They don't want a friendship. Maybe um, they might be asking for help, emotional support of some sort. There's a need for this person here. They could be just emotionally unstable or in their life right now. And you might have to be dealing with this person. We have the seven of swords, the fox here trying to, you know, the fox is all right, the sly fox. Um, and this is in the position, Gemini, of what you need to be focusing on, what's important this month that you really, really, really need to pay attention to. So either this card is all about um, not uh, revealing something. So is it you, Gemini, that needs to close, zip, you know, zip your mouth, not say anything about something? Are you needing to hold back uh, and, and hide your, your communication, not speak. Uh, there may be something that you need to not say right now. You may, may need to, uh, hold, hide what it is that you're really planning or thinking for your future, because maybe these people here, um, are judging you and they're negative and they want their way and they're selfish. So you may need to make plans behind their back, right? So some of you, if that applies, then it's telling you definitely don't say anything. Don't let other people know what it is that you're planning. This also could go the other way. I need to pull more clarifying cards, but somebody could be hiding information from you, not disclosing information to you, causing this separation or, or conflict within a uh, an argument or, you know, like maybe you guys aren't speaking now and now you, you know, they, they didn't tell you the truth or they, they didn't fully disclose something. Um, so you might need to find out what this is about um, because it is something that is, you know, your advice here could be this water sign that's not really uh, sharing their feelings uh, or, you know, so how you see your situation is the queen of swords in reverse, the queen of swords in reverse. You could be feeling this queen of swords. This is you, Gemini, most likely. You're, you're, you may not be feeling, again, it could be you're not feeling like you want to communicate. You want to keep your feelings to yourself. You don't want to share your feelings. You don't want to share communication. So this could be you holding back. It also could be you um, being very deceitful uh, in a negative way, uh, trying to get away with something in a bad way. I doubt it because uh, I don't, Gemini, you're not like that. And this is all positive stuff for you. So this could be also somebody else, another air sign. It could be another um, 
It could be a Gemini, Libra, or, or an Aquarius, female or male, but this is a female here. I do think it's you, Gemini. I think it's you. I think you're feeling this way. Um, I think you're feeling like you need to be guarded right now with yourself. You you may need to just be, you know, you may, may need to be, you, somebody might be forcing you into this energy of having to, you know, she's all about um, focusing more on, you know, on what she wants. Okay. She or he wants. Therefore, uh, not really caring about what other people think. And that is a good energy to have, especially, you know, if you've got a lot of negativity around you. So hold strong if this is you and um, do what you have to do to succeed. Okay. Um, your environment, we have the two of pentacles in reverse, which could be that somebody in your around your situation here is not, they drop the ball. They completely drop the ball. There's been some maybe money that's been lost because somebody dropped the ball. They couldn't uh, control it. They couldn't manage it properly. Also, this can mean that somebody couldn't make a decision. So nothing was ever done, you know, almost like neglect in a way. Nobody could make, nobody made a decision. Uh, so they just didn't do anything. Therefore, there, there, there was kind of a collapse here on something. The next card we have is the Sun of Pentacles. This is the, um, this is the um, Knight knight of pentacles and this is somebody who's not really focused on their money they're not paying attention to their money they're not paying attention to a new start with their money or how to build their money um this is also this also could be somebody who's who's not focused on um a new start or a new beginning in their life and that could be why this judgment's in reverse because for whatever reason there's somebody is not really paying attention and they're not really, except maybe also they could be saying, no, I'm not going to accept your offer. Uh, this could be a love offer, a work offer, a friendship offer that having to do with, with what, what you value as money. So I don't know what it is for you, but you know, it's almost like maybe you're not accepting the offer or they're not accepting a second chance, which is fine. You know why we shouldn't give somebody a second chance sometimes. Right. All right. The next, the last card we have is the Ten of Wands. And, you know, Gemini, you may really feel that Ten of Wands right now. Like, dang, I'm like, like you're taking all the responsibility. You're take, going through all the challenges all by yourself. Nobody's helping you out. Um, you feel maybe very weighed down by all this stuff. You're maybe, some of you guys are really, really, really busy this month as well. Working, working, working towards something here and you're just really really feeling heavy uh, uh, uh busyness all right so let's get some clarifying cards let's find out what the seven of swords is for gemini why is the seven of swords here for gemini why is this their advice to focus on the three of swords heartache Deception in love or deception in anything, work, friendship, family, I don't care, money situations. Somebody stabbed you in the heart. Somebody broke your, you know, broke your uh, feelings, hurt your feelings. Light or, you know, and, and, and it's sad, right? You're sad. Uh, okay, so because it's with the seven of swords, you know, wow. I mean, you may not want to tell people if this is you, Gemini, that had your heart broken. Um, from somebody else you may be not wanting to tell them how disappointed you are or how hard how sad you are or you know how much it hurt what they did you, somebody might be holding that back also it could be remember it could be the opposite 